and it doesn't matter. It's really up to what you choose to do, but it's going to go on whether you want it to or not. And I always thought that was a really cool. I was never meant to be killed. Uh, the nobles threaten revolt to bend me to their will. Damn, I can't even think of the words I'm trying to use here. I always thought that was a really cool uh, setup for a game. It's just like, hey, you're just this guy. You may or may not be significant, depending on what the fuck you decide to do. Oh man, not these guys. These guys that slow can cause a lot of pain very quickly if we're not careful. Oh shit. We're actually having a lot of trouble here. It'll be nice to level up and be able to step up our uh, damage and health regen game. So why were those guys just standing around as the fucking other guys were just hanging out, right? I mean, they're clearly just there to show you them, show you that they are being taken over. I don't know, kind of. Um, Not enough like, hatred. Then again, I'm just a jaded asshole gamer, what do I know? More than people that just pick up Call of Duty every fucking year. Yes, I have started my stream by hating on the game I'm playing for the story mode, and then hating on the game I'm... or then hating on Call of Duty. You could probably create an entire YouTube channel around hating on Call of Duty and get a, a cool, a uh, big enough following to actually make money off of that. Because holy, holy shit, Call of, hating on Call of Duty has become a refined pastime like winemaking. Oh Jesus. That guy's no, fucking trouble. That. that guy was actually trouble. Like if we run into a boss version of that guy or a champion version, whatever you want to call it. Um, we may have to step up our damage game. <laughs> and our running around and not getting hit game. Because I feel like at this point I'm not really focusing on getting out of the way at all. Which long term is going to kneecap me and cause me lots of trouble. Doing okay. What's up, asshole? People can't last much longer. You'll be safe in the survivor's Go, Hey, we done did it. Ooh, we did hit up. New level. Sweet. Perfect. Alright, here we are back out in the commons. Let's run up this way. Let all the enemies spawn in, and then you know, kill them. Typical MO. I don't like that the enemies spawn in around you. Uh, in this, I like like the Act Three setup where you ran to the enemies, and then you're like, "Oh, there's just a billion fucking dudes here, and we gotta kill them all." Yeah, get you, get you, get you. You're dead. I wonder if that ring would be better for our bro here. What do we got? Nope. No better. Boop. Damage goes down, but... Uh, he hasn't died. Drop our rain of arrows. Like, maybe I'll step up the amount of talking and dialogue based on the amount of people I've actually got in the stream. Uh, I don't know. That seems like a safe way to save my throat for the next, you know, four hours of fucking game we're about to play here. Oh wow, look at this. Shit is technically getting dire. Oh wow, I was actually losing some health there. My hatred is too low. How the fuck are these assholes still alive? 
I've been doing actually a ton of damage. God damn. Yes! This is what we need. More damage. That'll help. Yeah, we've definitely got some good to get here. And once we hit level 60, we'll be able to craft some much better gear than what we have on right now. And I think I think that'll become extremely important very quickly. Did we clear out that one? We've done one, two, three. I think we've done that one over there. Could be wrong, but, you know. We will find out eventually, won't we? Hey, you're going to die. Oh, wow, he didn't die. Nope, there we go. He's dead now. Because why not make us the only person that can do anything at any point in the game? Even like the god angel that's fucking following us around can't do a fucking thing. All he does is stand in no, town and tell us that it's our job to do all this shit. No, it seems kind of stupid. I wonder about that sometimes. It's like, do we take the fact that we are like the only character that can ever kill or do anything in these games for granted at this point? Like, from a story standpoint, is the fact that we're the only people that can do shit like this, does that make us... I mean, sometimes I like the idea of a game where you play as just, you know, one guy who may be slightly above average, but still in the end isn't, you know, isn't super special. I guess that's one of the interesting things about MMOs is that it's like, okay, you're, you're clearly, you know, superior to the average, you know, general infantry dude, but you still, I mean, you still have to rely on other people to deal with some of the bigger challenges. And I guess that's a cool thing about MMOs. I mean, when you actually have to rely on people and there's a game mechanic tied around shit like that, around making you not good, or making you more or less average, I guess that kind of feels dumb to me, but, uh, I don't know. Here we go. Some of the stuff we have is marginally better than what we had before. Which is the name of the game. Grind for hours to get slightly better pants. Yahtzee pretty much nailed it. I don't know where he said that. I think he said that in his Borderlands 2... Uh... Review. Yahtzee, a uh, video game reviewer from the Escapist magazine. Have I done this one yet? Yeah, I have. Um, has a funny review series called Zero Punctuation. If you've never seen it, I recommend you check it out. It's pretty funny. Whee! Can't handle it. We're slowly but surely killing everybody. Yeah, get him. Get him, get him, get him. It'll be nice once I hit max level to upgrade that, uh, upgrade the, uh, follower as well. Um, we haven't done it. We haven't followed their story at all, but if you follow, um, the side characters, side characters, the follower story, um, it's back here. Oh, this shit. What's the meaning of this? This is an interesting side story. Anyways, if you follow their side stories, you actually get cool side missions here towards the end that kind of... Kind of wrap up their story and their character arcs pretty cool. Or in a pretty cool way. Um, and we haven't done it, so I don't know if... We, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit's going cray cray. Uh, I don't think we'll get to it here, which is kind of a shame, but whatever. Um, 
Yeah. Oh wow, we got some shit. Lord Winton, we are thrilled. Wow. That you have located a surviving regiment to jump of up in his damage. With this new force, we can turn the tide and save our city. But yeah, I don't Your think we'll get to it. But they, it, there's well some cool known, stuff associated with the uh, followers and actually giving you more of an incentive besides Long one challenge um, worth next to nothing to actually talk to them and learn their stories. Pretty neat. Man, we've still got a lot of game to play. Man, we've got a lot of game to play. I'm excited, but also dreading what we've got going on here. Also, I'm hungry, so I may have to shortchange the marathon at some point to give me some uh, food to eat. Yeah. I don't know if dread's a good word. I, would, I should say I'm daunted by the thought of having to play through this game for like six hours to get to the end of this uh, act. And I think we will try to do as much of the act as possible, like as much of the side stuff and everything, just to get this character up to 60, because I'm kind of worried at this point now that I'm starting and the character, you know, is only at 57. Oh, shit. Um... Uh, Killing the Punisher! There we go. I'm kind of worried the character isn't going to hit 70 by the time we get to the end of this uh, run through here, so. Oh shit! You need to die. There we go. It's you were trouble. Because, I mean, in terms of gaining levels here, it's been kind of a slow, pointless slog this past couple. Uh, sessions we've had. Like, we had, what, a four-hour session on, like, Thursday, I think? Yeah? Yeah, we had, like, a four-hour session. We barely got any levels. Not enough hatred. Like, I guess we, kinda, I, we got experience along the lines of what we needed to get in order to be able to handle the areas we were going through, but... I don't know, we may even bump up the difficulty, we'll see. We shall see. Oh hey, look, another little place to go check out. Ooh, let's go into the abandoned cultist stores. Oh, this is a funny thing. You run into one of the cultists, like what you fought throughout the first half of the vanilla game, and he's like, no! I'm cool now. Don't hurt me. Do that. I'm scared. Don't worry about him. Then him. There we go. You destroyed See this me. guy. You, of all people, understand what I'm doing here. Oh, I got a stretch. Behind this door, we did despicable things to him. Man, this is going to be a long stream. I can't Lots wait, but you know. Things you would never do. I was going to destroy it. But you, hand of righteousness, you can use it for good. Aw, uh, he's like a good guy now, but he's still wearing the evil people clothes, so. You know. Clothes make the man. It'd be funny if we could still kill him. I would get a giggle out of that. Shit's about to go nuts, yo! Gotta keep laying couch. Wow, I'm taking a lot of damage there. My hatred is too low. I think we did it. Actually, yeah, like that wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I took a lot of damage, like right away. Yeah, buddy. This is a nice room. This is all you guys got? This is all you guys got running through all them fucking tombs? 
You got